Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the uh, ECMWF extended model for uh, this one. So uh, this is the 42 day slash six weeks okay for the UK and for Ireland. And I shall get on that for you in a moment just to say that the first video really today was our 6 7 UK weather forecast. Got the weekend forecast out of 10 to 14 day on the way this afternoon. Please like, share, and subscribe on all today's videos and content. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. For Gaz Weather, thank you so much, everyone. And thank you so much to ECMWF.INT for supplying the charts of the data as well, by the way. Thank you so much, EC. Right, we're going to start off with week one, mean sea level pressure anomaly for uh, next week, taking us from the 22nd, 29th of uh, July. Uh, it looks like we have high pressure building through the uh, west of Europe with low pressure out in the Atlantic. The 500 millibar height anomaly. Shows us up very nicely below average heights, low pressure away to the northwest, above average heights, high pressure building up from the southwest and up into northern parts of Europe as well. Temperature anomaly, despite that ridge, looking a little bit on the cool side actually, so slightly below average with the temperature anomaly for the UK either, much of Western Europe actually, uh, next week. And of course, as you expect, a ridge of high pressure. Got dry weather to come as well. So cool but dry. Next week. Right, week two will take us from the uh, 29th of July to 5th of August. By the way, getting to September with uh, this update. Wow, wow, wow. On into the start of meteorological uh, autumn. Goodness gracious, time's getting on, isn't it? Anyway, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Week two will be the 29th of July to the 5th of August. Still looking anti cyclonic, actually. High pressure. Dominating through the uh, west of Europe again, we've got low pressure out in the Atlantic, but it looks like we could be high and dry there. 500 millibar height anomaly shows quite a nice ridge extending through the uh, western portion of Europe as well. I will think this will lift the temperature up. Let's have a look. Yes, it does. Oh, it's going slightly above average with the uh, temperature anomaly. And it should be relatively dry as well. Yes, we see dry and average conditions being uh, um, predicted there. So a warmer and dry start to August. Week 3 <laughs> will be the 5th to the 12th of August. Oh, oh, do, do. signs of a change here as low pressure starts uh, returning in the Atlantic. Could the ridge be... Could, could the ridge be Moving over more to the eastern and central side of Europe. What's happening with the 500 millibar heights? Let's look at those. So it looks like the low pressure in the Atlantic is gradually breaking down this route. So we're probably returning to a cooler and rather more changeable westerly flow there. Oh dear. However, temperature normally is still rather above average. So no problems particularly with temperature. Nothing to get excited about, but... Doesn't look too bad. And a uh, north-south split for precipitation, so turning wetter to the north and uh, it's generally drier further south. Now, what's going to happen into week four? Will it turn and settle? Will the high pressure come back? Turn up to the 19th of August. Here we go. Oh, oh, I wasn't expecting that. It looks like the high, <laughs> high pressure is going to maybe start coming back again. Very weak signal there. It is four weeks out after all. 500 millibar heights sort of uh, lifting the heights again. So wait, that looks as though the middle of August turning more settled again, doesn't it? Temperature normally is still a little bit above average. Again, nothing much to get excited about, but slightly warmer than normal. And precipitation-wise, it's drier, especially so down into the south. So a relatively dry August here being uh, predicted, isn't it? Week 5 will be the 19th, 26th of August. Let's have a look. Now, it's getting quite mysterious, isn't it? So, we've got low, low pressure up here. We've got low pressure through here. What's the 500 millibar heights doing? Now, that still looks quite anti-cyclonic, though, really. With, again, above average heights. Just uh, clinging around the western portion of Europe. Temperature at not... It's, hold on. <coughs> So, sorry, when temperature anomalies are, uh, again, just a little bit uh, above the long-term seasonal average. And a weak signal for precipitation, but if anything, probably still looks relatively dry. Well, week six will take us from the 26th of August to the 2nd of September into the beginning of September and meteorological autumn. Here we go. 
And uh, wouldn't you know it, high, <laughs> high pressure there, right over top of UK and Ireland. Very typical as we get into the start of September. Of course it is. And uh, the ridge goes on as well, above average height through the north and the west of Europe once again. Uh, temperature anomalies are still a little bit above the uh, long-term average. I wonder if this week's out of way. It looks relatively warm, doesn't it, for uh, the foreseeable future. And uh, again, we see largely driving average conditions being predicted here through the UK and Ireland. So a dry August on the way and possibly quite a warm one as well. That will be a turn up of the book, wouldn't it? After <laughs> what's gone on through this summer so far. Do -do -do. And uh, dare I say, it would be pretty good news for Gareth Lowe's summer forecast. But uh, we shall see how it works out. It's only a snapshot of uh, what these two models are showing. And I must say, but Jeremy Freddie yesterday with the Japanese and the CFSB two models, they look quite a lot more changeable than this and cooler as well as we push out into August. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Thank you so much for doing that. I'm going to be back uh, a little bit later on the weekend forecast and also for the uh, day of 14 day. So keep checking back to the channel for more. For this one, though, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.